Hey everyone, in the news this week, the government have announced that they're going to ban pet owners from importing bully XL dogs from America. And if anyone's interested in getting one of them before the ban, I do have a friend who's selling one. The advert says it loves kids, especially big, fat, juicy ones. And Tony Blair made a statement about junk food and how it should be priced so that the poor can't afford it. Making food expensive for poor people makes about as much sense as appointing someone like Tony Blair a Middle East peace envoy. But this week's main news story was the slow train wreck that is Joe Biden and his son Hunter. For the last six years it was Donald Trump that the American left guaranteed and repeatedly failed to impeach and later jail. But this week two major events happened. Number one, Trump's court case got pushed to 2024, possibly concluding long after next year's election. And more importantly, number two, Joe Biden's son will be facing a court case possibly this year for illegal gun possession, illegal drug possession, and a crime that the US views far more seriously, the illegal possession of lots and lots of money that he didn't pay taxes on. Biden and his cronies have spent the last two years prepping him to run for a re-election. Although I know someone who was at a rally back in 2020 and said that Joe Biden sat on a stage and said he was going to be re-elected to the Senate, he clearly didn't know where he was or what was going on. He clearly does have significant cognitive issues and the only reason he's really even in the White House is because he didn't marry Bill Clinton or kill Jeffrey Epstein. There was a story a while back about making a surprise visit to Ukraine, but in all honesty, a trip to the fridge would probably come as a surprise to him on a day-to-day basis. In the last month or two alone, he's claimed to have spent four years teaching at the University of Pennsylvania, which he didn't, that Russia had invaded Iraq, which they didn't, and there were 54 states in the Union, oh, and that Nancy Pelosi had apparently been in office during the Great Depression. There's a joke where Joe Biden walks into a bar and sees a pretty young lady sitting alone at a table, and he walks up to her and asks, Hey there, do I come here often? In any normal situation, he'd be in a nursing home with proper medical care. This would all be deeply upsetting, were it not for the fact that he and his entire family were a gang of professional grifters who'd spent decades ripping off the taxpayer. If his supporters are correct in that only he can save democracy, then the only way that would be true would be if he resigned and called for an open and fair election rather than using his cronies to threaten people. The Hunter Biden legal case is genuinely quite astonishing. The government set up a special plea bargain where Hunter would be completely exonerated for not only existing, but also future prosecutions, until a judge spotted the small print. He now faces years of court proceedings proceedings and eye-watering legal bills and this time he can't even pay for it with embezzled corporate funds or money from the Chinese government, you know, the things he's on trial for. Perhaps this is all part of a grand plan, though, force Joe to issue a presidential pardon for everybody involved and thus resign in disgrace, rather than making 2024 be an election year that takes place almost exclusively in a courtroom. I mean, in the old days of the Founding Fathers, the town courthouse was a centre point of the community, but it's not because Ben Franklin or Thomas Jefferson were facing charges for racketeering or something. At least not by the American legal system. I'm sure King George felt very differently about the whole treason stuff. I mean, Donald Trump maybe did some shady business deals in New York, but he never took over the city by raising an army and calling finders keepers. Anyway, I thought I should maybe finish with a joke, but then I thought that in honour of President Biden, I forgot the punchline. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.